Was the extent of his drug problems in 92 known to the locker room? Well, I think it was known to everybody before he even came in. You know, I mean, everyone knew he had problems um, on that level. I'm trying to think. I didn't. Re I don't remember seeing him out of it in the WWF days. You know, I really don't. He, he was more careful about it. If he was, um, there were certainly a lot of guys that were as messed up as uh, you can get in those days. But Kerry. Um, I don't know, he, 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 everyone, I think, um, Kerry was a hard guy not to like. I think everybody liked him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think there was just a sort of a, you know, a, a sympathy for everybody had for him for uh, just what he'd gone through. And, you know, just, I guess, you know, I, I, those of us that were around him might, might have seen him build up and stuff like that. But I, I don't recall seeing him build up. And I recall him. Most of the time, Kerry being a really loving kind of giving kind of guy, I, you know, the he was probably one of the sweetest, kindest-hearted wrestlers that you'll ever know. He was. <clears throat> when I think of uh, Kerry Von Erich, there's there's a guy that would get on his hands and knees and sit with some little kid that had cancer for two hours and talk to him about his, you know, every, you know, he was a really um, a good guy. Mm -hmm.